Hello and welcome to this video. One of the things we talk about a lot on this channel is integrations. Because integrations is the best way for you to save time. The idea that you can have QuickBooks Online talking to another platform, another piece of software, and the two of them can share information between one another. And one of the things we talked about a lot on this channel is eBay and how eBay can be integrated into QuickBooks. We did a whole couple of videos that I'll show a case here about how to make that work for you without having to use third party software. But for some of you out there, third party software is actually a necessity. So join me today when I look at a piece of software which makes QuickBooks and eBay talk to one another so that we can make sure that the information has been shared nicely between the two platforms. Stay tuned. My name's Aaron Patrick, I'm a Chartered Accountant, Certified UK Trainer by Intuit and also that QuickBooks chat. And this channel is all about making sure that you get all the information you need about QuickBooks. If that sounds good to you, why not leave a like and subscribe down below. Now why is the integration so important between eBay and QuickBooks? Well, first of all, it's the fact that at the moment eBay's gone through a big change. It's gone from relying heavily on PayPal to receive the money to having its own managed payment solution called eBay Managed Payments. Now, when that move happened, the complication that came with it was the way that fees and charges were being assigned. You see, what happens is, is the money you receive into your bank account from eBay now on eBay Managed Payments is net of any fees. Therefore, to account for this properly and to make sure we're putting everything correctly into QuickBooks, we need to gross up the income to show that what we actually sold the item for is being displayed, but what we receive for the item is less. And that's where software can be really useful. And that's what we're gonna look at today. I've got an affiliate link below to a piece of software that I think could really help you make your solution even more seamline if you're someone who relies on eBay managed payments for your business. And we can then look at how that can integrate lovely into QuickBooks. Let's have a look. As I said, there's an affiliate link below, but the affiliate link is for Snyder. Snyder isn't just looking at ways we can integrate eBay and QuickBooks, but also it looks at PayPal, Stripe, Square, this little thing called Xero, I'm not sure what that one is, Shopify, eBay, Amazon, and Gusto. And there's even more to look at as well. So this software isn't just for eBay and QuickBooks, but what we're gonna look at today is that eBay and QuickBooks. Now, if any of those other ones sound good to you, why not put in the comments section below and we can look at the others later down the line. Now to look at the integrations in a little bit more detail, I can jump into QuickBooks and look at the eBay side of things. And as you can see, it syncs and links your eBay managed payments, which is what we're interested in, with QuickBooks to facilitate your bookkeeping. A perfect solution for business people and accounting professionals to synchronize eBay managed payments data with QuickBooks Online. Snyder eliminates the risk of errors, saves hours each week, and helps to reconcile in less than 60 seconds. We're gonna hold into that 60 seconds mark. There's an option to have a demo, which is great, but obviously that's what we're gonna be doing today, and easy connection in one click step. And we're gonna see how easy this connection is. We're gonna be testing that now. Automated real-time data integration. Upon setup, Snyder will automatically import 10 ongoing eBay transactions into eBay Managed Payments bank account that it will create in your QuickBooks chart of accounts. Synchronize, synchronization runs automatically in real time, ensuring the accurate account reconciliation. So we're gonna see how that works. Making the most of your automation, based on eBay transactions, data, customer vendors, and products are created automatically in QuickBooks Online. So you're gonna have a nice sync between data and easy one minute reconciliation. You can easily sync payouts with Snyder to see a match option instead of add automatically appear in bank feeds. In QuickBooks Online, click match next on all eBay plans payments and you're all set for reconciliation. So the idea there is if this works out as intended, then your payouts from eBay managed payments should match to what you see coming into your bank. As a working example, you may have sold three items in a particular day with a pay payout due the next couple of days. Now, if you sold 150 pounds, but you only received 145 pounds because of the fact that you've got those fees and everything to account for, then what we expect to see is sales of 150, fees of five pound, and a matched eBay managed payment payout of 145 pound 
which you will match to what comes into the QuickBooks bank account. Let's see if that's what happens. They also offer some actual backup solution as well, so that should help. So let's see how easy it is. Now again, I'm gonna use that link provided and I'm gonna do the start free trial. Let's see how we go from here. Name, I'm gonna do Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Email, hello at boffix.com. Remember that's always your friend. And then password is affiliate link is below. Okay, we've got ourselves signed up, got ourselves into Schneider. So let's see what's next. So what I'm gonna do is sign myself in. And for this, I'm not gonna say I'm an account and bookkeep. I'm just gonna say no, there. And this is your dashboard, and this will tell you what syncs that you can create within QuickBooks. So let's click connect to QuickBooks online. That's gonna be our first one. So what I did is click on that QuickBooks button, and I'm gonna select my client. Then I'm gonna select what my sync needs to be again. So on this one, it's eBay managed payments, press connect. Make sure you signed yourself into eBay, press I agree. Brilliant. So first of all, do you need to apply taxes? So if you're VAT rated, to VATable or not, you need to apply this. I'm just gonna turn VAT off for now, but it does deal with it. Process payroll and you want to transfer the funds to your to my Revolut account. So this account is quite crucial for you. This is gonna be where the money actually gets paid into. So let's get that right. So I'm going to go to Revolut. So that's where my PayPal, <coughs> that's where my pay, eBay managed payments gets paid into. Synchronize automatically ongoing transactions, apply payments to unpaid bills. Yeah, I'm happy with both of them. I'm okay to start. And because I press okay to start, it's gone past all the other settings, which is great. And just let them as default for me. Let's leave them as default and see what happens. Wonderful. So now you can see all the latest transactions there for me. So here are your several latest transactions. So I'm going to press next. It tells me if it's synced. So let's done. And that transaction has now come through nicely. So what I'm expecting to see then is when this payout comes in, we should see it. So let's see the details. So the details is that it's synced from Apple Core Arbitrage, which is a company that I've got connected on my eBay managed payments, QB Labs, which is the one that I have synced, start date, sync date, and it's created me a sales receipt and an expense. And the idea then is I should be able to match those two off. So let's go into my bank transactions. Okay, to put this into context, what I've done is put two different screens up now. So on the right-hand side is my eBay, on the left-hand side is my Schneider, and then we can see how they compare. So as you can see here, we've got a sale of 153 pound and 10p, and that's here, 153 pound and 10p on eBay. So this is Schneider and this is eBay. So £153.10p, p, pound ten p and my net is after fees. So if I look at my details in more detail, you can see that it's generated me a sales receipt. And what it's done is it's created a payment method, a product and service, and a customer. And from an expense point of view, it's created a new expense for me as well. So if I look into the bank, into QuickBooks itself, I can now search for these things. So, so I want to search for the customer. I could jump into customers. And there's the customer there. And if I click and open it, let's make this as big as we possibly can. Here's my sales receipt. It's got address and all sorts there. It's got payment method, it's got reference numbers, it's got what was actually sold, it's got the amount and the total fee at the top, which matches just here. Yeah, so that's been synced over lovely. Let's have a look at the expense. So now to look at the expense, I'm actually gonna say, should say look, let's show me that actual transaction. So clicking on that button, as you can see, it's actually brought that transaction in for me. It's actually show me that transaction. So there's my 18 pound 55, 18 pound 55. So now the two transactions in QuickBooks, so how do I match it to my bank account? Well, if I jump into my bank, you'll see I've got 134 pound 35p coming in which is the £134.55 that was due from here, less a bank transaction, so bank charge in my case. Now I've already counted for the bank charge, so all I need to do is get this to be basically matched against it. So if I jump into my dashboard now, you'll notice that under my eBay managed payment account, just here, eBay managed payments bank account, I have £134.35 ready to go against it. If I click into there, it's going to be saved the two transactions. So all I need to do now is I need to go in to my bank account. I'm going to transfer to my eBay managed payments and I'm going to record transfer. So now my bank account's now matched up and everything's happy. If I jump into my dashboard one more time, look at my eBay managed payments account, 
the magic number zero is there. And I just click into it to see what's happened. On the 12th, we've had two transactions. We've had the £134.35, £153.10, and then we've had a transfer of 135 35 which is the difference. We've had income of £153.10, an expense of £18.75, and a transfer of £134.35, which brings us down to zero. And that's exactly how we want it. And using that control account means we can always keep an eye on it. If for whatever reason your control account goes one way or another, or there's some issues or either, either side, then you can use that as a way to be able to fix it. And there we have it, quickly looking how that works. Now, for more deep dives, we can do that on a separate video. But what I want to show on this video is how it can be quickly and easily set up so that you're off to the races. If you'd like a more further deep dive into it, make sure you comment down below. That will give us the opportunity to look into this and put it on a future video going forward. But what do you think? Can't you see that that could be quite a nice time saver for you and your business? Being able to have every time that a transaction happens in eBay, it automatically appears in QuickBooks for you, just synced up nicely. To me, that sounds like a worthwhile plan. Now, when it comes to prices, I've set my affiliate link down below. So do make sure you use that to help the channel and utilize that to be able to go forward. But if you want more competitive pricing, then head over to us at Boffix and, our, and the team will have options there to be able to make it more competitive for you. The way the pricing works, it's all on transactions. So the amount of transactions that you push through each and every month depends on how much you have to pay. Therefore, sometimes if you jump into someone like Boffix, we'll be able to um, negotiate better rates and everything else that goes with it. So keep those guys in mind and have a look at that. If though you're still thinking, actually I could probably do this a bit more manually, then don't forget those other two videos that we've done to be able to look at them. A, how to do it completely manually and B, using our fancy little spreadsheet to get it working. My name's been Aaron Patrick. Hopefully this video has been really useful for you. What we're trying to do here is give you ways in which you can save time and get the most out of QuickBooks. That is our aim. If we've achieved that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Again, my name is Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description. But it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.